Good evening, Camp Wemo. My name is Frank Miller, and I'm going to lead us in the evening prayer tonight. I hope everybody's had a great camp at home. One of the things about the pandemic is that we haven't been able to go to church or go to camp in the woods, but we've been doing a lot of things virtually. And during Holy Week, I actually watched a couple of services from churches in other countries. And one of them was New Zealand. So I thought tonight I would do evening prayer from a New Zealand prayer book. Um, this prayer book's very popular among Christians for the beautiful language that's in it. And we're going to be doing night prayer. You can actually download a copy of the New Zealand Prayer Book online at anglicanprayerbook.nz. So, pause the video, go look it up, and then come back when you're ready. So we're going to start with night prayer on page 167, and actually we're going to begin on page 168, the invocation. Notice when you're following along that you will see some of the words in Maori. The New Zealand prayer book is written in English and Maori, so we will skip the Maori lines and just continue on with the English. So sometimes it's going to go a little bit fast, but I'll try to tell you what page I'm on so you can follow along. Again, we're going to start the invocation, page 168. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. And we're going to follow with Psalm 4 on page 169. Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard-pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how long will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness when I call out in prayer. God hears me. Tremble and meet defeat. And sin no more. Look deep into your heart before your sleep and be still. Bring your gifts, just as you are, and put your trust in God. Many are asking, who can make us content? The light of your countenance is gone from us, O God. Yet you have given my heart more gladness than those whose corn and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace and sleep comes at once. For in you alone, O God, do I dwell unafraid. And then we will continue with a very short reading from the book of John. Chapter 20, verse 21. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The word of the Lord. And then we will read one of the hymns. We're going to read hymn 9, the very last one. Hymn 9 on page 178. God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in my eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at my end and in my departing. We'll continue on with the prayers. Into your hands, O God, I command, commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may we rest in your peace. And now we'll read the Song of Simeon on page 179. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled, and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy.
Lord have mercy. And now it's time for the Lord's Prayer, but I'm actually going to use the alternate version provided on page 181, starting at the top. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world, your heavenly will be done by all created beings, your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us, and the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And then continuing at the bottom of page 181. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. And then we're going to continue with uh, the reading um, number four on page 183. God, our creator, our center, our friend, we thank you for our good life, for those who are dear to us, for our dead, and for all who have helped and influenced us. We thank you for the measure of freedom we have and the extent to which we control our lives. And most of all, we thank you for the faith that is in us, for our awareness of you and our hope is in you. Keep us, we pray you, thankful and hopeful and useful until our lives shall end. Amen. And then continuing on with the sentence of the day, Thursday is on page 186. Christ be within us to keep us, beside us to guard, before us to leave, behind us to protect, beneath us to support, above us to bless. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Good night.